Oh man, it is finally a nice day up here and I'm really excited because that means I have enough sun to fix one of the biggest annoyances on my Tahoe and that would be my cracked windshield. So let me show you what I bought to get that fixed. And what we have is right here. So this is a windshield repair kit from Rain-X. I think it was about $12 at Walmart and it is to repair my windshield because as you can see up here, I have a decent sized crack. Now it quite literally is right in my eyesight and it is really really annoying so these little repair kits do a fantastic job from what i have had in the past and the goal of it is not necessarily to completely get rid of the crack it's to kind of minimize it as well as to make sure that the crack does not get any bigger so we're going to go ahead and get right into it so let's open up the packaging and go from there now, before we get too far into the video, I do want to clean off the glass before I open the packaging or anything like that, because I do have dust and all that kind of stuff on this crack because this Tahoe is incredibly dirty. So let's go ahead and give a couple of good cleans and wipes and we're going to go from there. So let's now open the packaging. Okay, so the idea behind it is basically you can take a crack like that and make it look like that. Now you can, you can't really tell probably from the video but you can see ever so slightly that crack still exists and so that's the idea anyways is to make it look pretty nice it is an easy kit to do and it shouldn't take too long so let's go ahead and open it up all right so we have a couple different components here we have this this is kind of that repair resin so this this is what actually goes into the crack itself so we'll put that there and then right here is a little kind of clamp that clamps onto the windshield we're actually going to turn that up like that so it doesn't get dirty and then right here is a little kind of screw and that goes inside of this to be able to kind of clamp it down and really press the resin into the crack so we're going to want to jump in and open the directions and follow it step by step so let's go ahead and do that and i'm going to jump in and just kind of show you a step by step as I read the directions and, and go through it, but we're going to go from there. Okay, so it says the first step is to make sure that there is no more kind of, you know, glass coming off the top. You want it to be completely flat. So you want to make sure that you have a razor like this one right here. So we're going to go like this just to kind of flatten things out. And you want to make sure that there's just, it's really clean and there aren't any things kind of sticking up. So that's done on that step. And then the next step is to go ahead and take this suction cup thing and you're gonna place it directly over the crack and you wanna make sure that all of the cups are nicely suctioned down onto the windshield right here and you wanna have it directly above the crack. Um, by the way, there are different directions based on if it's kind of a long crack or not. Uh, and in this case, it is not, it's kind of one of those bullseye style cracks. So I'm making sure it's perfectly over top of it. And make sure that those are pressed all the way down so that it's not going to come off or anything like that. And that is that step right there. All right, so now I have you guys zoomed in a little bit. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna unscrew this little thing out of this chamber right here. And then we're gonna take this chamber and we're gonna screw it in. And, it ha and actually, let me take it off and show you guys. So this little tip right here is actually a little bit rubbery and it's gonna have, and it's gonna suction cup essentially over the cracks. So what we're gonna do now is basically screw this bottom chamber in and over top of the center of the crack and what they say is you should get into the car and verify that it is over the crack. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And it actually is not. So I need to move this over a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and start over and I'll do that really quick. All right, so now it is perfectly over the crack and now we can go on to the next step. All right, and we are finally in the process now where we're going to be putting resin into the chamber so we're going to go ahead and take this little nub thing off which i'm going to do with this razor here there it goes there's a little piece there all right so we're going to do two to three drops of this inside of the chamber one two three all right so that is in there I apologize, after reading it, it needs to be three to six, so we're gonna do six. Two, three. All right, that is six right there. And we're gonna check to see if anything is leaking out, and it is not, so we're gonna leave that there. And then we're gonna take this little plunger here, 
And then what this does is it pressurizes the chamber to kind of push it down into the crack. So you got to screw it in almost all the way down and that pressurizes the liquid to go into the crack. And so what we're going to do now is jump into the vehicle and make sure that the resin is going into it. it kind of doesn't look like it is. I mean, it might be. I might have to move the chamber over a little bit, it kind of looks like. So it does say to give it four to six minutes to kind of leak down into the crack. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to tighten this a little bit more. I'm actually going to tighten everything a little bit more here. And we're going to give it a couple minutes here to see if it goes in. All right, so the next step on this is actually to do that last step again. What I'm actually going to do is I'm also going to go ahead and move this over ever so slightly this way because I don't think it's quite perfectly over the crack. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Right now I'm not seeing a ton of benefit quite yet, but I think doing this again as the directions say will get that going. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the pressure part. And I'm going to remove this little chamber and remove everything and move it over and then I'm going to do it all over again. Oh, and by the way, something I didn't realize is they actually do have a razor that comes in the package so you don't have to remember that for yourself. But anyways, let's keep this ball rolling. So I'm going to remove this right here. And I'm going to remove this right here. And I'm going to scoot it over. Push down, push down. And see where it is. That looks pretty good. So we're going to put some more resin down in it. So I'm going to do another three to six drops. And then we're going to put the little plunger back in there. Let it sit for four to six minutes again. Oh, and by the way, while we're waiting for that to happen, have you guys subscribed? If you haven't subscribed, I would encourage you to do that if you like videos like this of living with this Tahoe and other cars in my automotive life. And uh, let's get right back to it. All right, so we do appear to be in a much better situation after I adjusted that. So let's go ahead and pull this off and see what it looks like and see if I need to do it again. So we're gonna pull this. All right, there's the little pressure thing. We need to remove this. Let's go ahead and remove the whole thing. Oh, it is getting so much better. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera. Let's see if I can. You can see the cracks are really starting to go away. I might go ahead and do it again, and I might move it up a little bit, and let's go from there. So I'll see you guys on the other side of doing that. All right, so we are rounding third base now. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this apparatus now. And what we're gonna be doing then is we're gonna be putting plastic strips over top of it. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we're gonna remove all of this. Now the cracks are still visible, but supposedly the next step of, of which by the way, it's been years since I've done this. So this is still, this is honestly all pretty new to me, but we're gonna remove that. We're gonna remove this, remove the whole thing as you can see some stuff is kind of dripping out there and that's fine but what we're gonna do is we're gonna wipe this clean and as you can I don't know if you can see it on the video but it is getting so much better but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take they have little pieces of plastic that look like this and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our little resin we're gonna put a little bit on top of it like that and then you put the plastic over top and what that's going to do is it's going to fill in all the little bitty little cracks that are underneath of that. And then what we do now is, of course, wait for about five to ten minutes and we'll come back to that. Right, and it has now been 10 minutes almost exactly. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna be peeling off this plastic right here and hopefully it is dry underneath and it does feel like it. You can see right there. And as you can see, you can still, let's see. I guess it's a good sign that I can't get you to see it there. Okay, there it is. So you can see it is still has a little bit of a spider crack to it, but what we're gonna do now is at a 90 degree angle, we're gonna start taking off the excess residue. And the idea is we remove enough of that, you don't want any residue left on the windshield itself. And by the way, as long as this is a 90 degree angle, you shouldn't be damaging your windshield whatsoever by this. Uh, you'd be surprised at what your windshield can take. I'm gonna try to get all of the residue off. I also had some that kind of leaked down here. So we're gonna remove all of that and let's go from there. And before we have a final look at the product, I am gonna go over here, here grab my glass cleaner right here. And we're gonna clean off this glass to get a good look at everything. So let's take a look at what we have here. 
it's really, you know, it's really hard to film something on glass. But I'll see if I can get a picture and show it up on the screen here. But it looks much, much better. All right, and as you can see here, you can still see it. It's a little hard to get it to kind of show, but it is still definitely there. But again, the goal was not to get it to go completely away, and I knew that, but I'll be honest, I'm not quite as impressed as I would like. It's very possible I may do this another time. I actually don't have time for that today, but I might try to do it again at some point, which leads me to, I guess, kind of the review portion of this. Would I do this again? And yeah, I mean, obviously I said I probably would, and I probably would recommend this for most people. It is a really easy process, a little bit more difficult when I'm, you know, filming, um, but it's, it's an easy process that I think about anyone can do, and considering how cheap it is, uh, it's at least worth the attempt before before you have to pay things like a deductible, especially when you're talking about much more expensive windshields than a Tahoe like this and more modern vehicles. So I think it is worthwhile to give a try. I have done it before and I actually feel like I did a better job at that point, but it may just be because I'm filming it this time that I didn't do quite as good of a job. So I may do this a second time at some point at home and I might update you guys in a later video. So let me know your guys' thought. Was it worth doing that to my Tahoe? This took me about an hour to do. I think it was worth it, and I think it's worth the price to at least try it on your car if you guys have the exact same issue. This does also work on cracks, not just kind of that bullseye style of thing, and it's not that hard to do. So let me know in the comments, and if you guys want to purchase this for yourself, I do have a link down in the description and the top comment as well. It's a paid link, and I get a commission if you do decide to purchase it, and I'll see you guys next time.